Boy, saying as Mario Odyssey is one of my favorite games of all time, and they call me Mr. Mario, I decided that today I would be playing Mario Odyssey's hardest kingdom, Darker Side, to see how long it takes me to beat it and how difficult it is. And if you do enjoy, please make sure you subscribe, guys. I got a lot of things in the works, and I'm really excited for the future of this channel. So make sure you subscribe so that way you don't miss any of my future projects, and enjoy. Right off the bat, like, just looking at this, it looks like it's trying to be difficult. The thing about Odyssey, like, it really never gets difficult. There's never, like, a, uh, like, genuinely hard boss fight. Even the first time I played it and beat the game whenever I was, like, maybe 10, it wasn't hard at all. But, like, the speed that the stuff is going and the platforms moving and the timing between them, it feels like they're trying to make it more difficult, which I like. I like the idea of this, and I hope that in the next Odyssey game that there is a, like, hard gauntlet at the end like this. Oh, should I turn on the speedrun timer? I Forgot. Okay, it started a little late, but do I give a shit? Not really. I don't understand where the difficulty is gonna come in. Save? Question mark? Oh my god. Holy shit, I'm insane. Alright, I lost health. Whatever. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Do I have to stay here? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay, and there wasn't a checkpoint, so all the way back here. Awesome. And this one's off to a great start, too. Awesome, man. I'm loving this. Whenever I was, like, eight or nine, I think, I was on monkey bars in my neighbor's backyard, and it was, like, one of the first times I had ever been on monkey bars. You know, back when you're you, when you're that young, you're really short, and so whenever I was up on the monkey bars, they felt really high up. Like, I was pretty high off the ground, even though I could probably grab them without even standing now. Hold up. I, I need to lock in for this. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Since I was so high up and it was my first time on them, and I was also, like, six and not strong at all, I could barely even, like, hold myself. Whenever I was at the middle of them, that was whenever I just started, like, the grip started to give out. I think that also it might have, like, rained recent to then because I think they were also slippery. And so I had, like, no grip on them, and I fell off the monkey bar. Me being the dumbass that I was, I tried to catch myself because uh, I was falling, like, onto my back, basically, and I tried to catch myself in like a bridge position that that was really fucking stupid because if you don't know in a bridge position your like wrists bend backwards basically landing like my body weight from a height onto my wrists in that position was not good for them and so i broke my left wrist in two places right next to like right there basically here and there i remember i'd never god damn it i'd never broken a bone before or really gotten injured at all besides like scraping my knee or elbow or something Thing. Because of that, you know, I knew it really hurt, but I didn't know it was broken. And so I went like three days. No, not three. It was probably like two without going to the doctor or having anything on it. I probably didn't even fucking know what bones were back then. And so I just went to school and had a broken wrist and just kind of was careful and had it like on my desk, like I, like held my arm on my desk so I didn't use it. Then I was in the cast for like three months. It was pretty cool because this was in kindergarten. Nobody like had casts or anything like that. And I had like a red wrist cast and it was just different and it stood out and so everybody wanted to sign it but then one time in like fifth grade i went on a little trip to like a camping place at this place there was this giant hill and there was a road on it like a really steep long road and i brought my scooter i was riding it around and this was on like the second day of like a weekend long trip i was just kind of looking for something to do and i had my scooter and i saw the road you know i don't go places that often so whenever i do i like to do cool stuff and i just saw the opportunity opportunity to just Marty McFly bomb this master hill because it was so long and I had the scooter. The thing I didn't mention was that my scooter did not have a, uh, a brake on it. Like, on most scooters, there's a, like, a brake where you push down on it with the back of your foot and it creates enough friction to stop the wheel from moving, but the one that I had, like, the bolt holding it in it had fallen off, so my, I was going down this giant, very, like, cracked ghetto road hill thing on this scooter that didn't have a brake on it. Because it was so cracked, whenever I got Got to the bottom you know, it didn't stop at all. And I'd already gone down it once, but I had had my shoe, like the bottom sole of my shoe on the brake to stop it from going fully fast. But then this time, whenever I went down, I just didn't stop it at all or like didn't put anything on it. So it was just going like as fast as it could, basically. There was this giant crack in the street at the bottom of the hill that I went over. And the first time I went over it, since I wasn't going insanely fast, it didn't mess me up that much. It didn't stop the scooter or anything like that. But this time, since there was nothing stopping 
stopping the scooter, I just went for it. Whenever I went over that bump, I didn't stop and I just kept going and the scooter like at this angle and then the bump was like probably this much off the ground and the lip of the scooter, the front wheel, it just popped it and I just went flying. I probably like flew 10, 15 feet in the air before I like hit the ground and whenever I did, I slammed it on my face and I didn't break my nose. I didn't, nothing happened, but it, I was just so scraped up. Still a scar from it, but I had like the biggest knee scratch imaginable. From here to like here, you, I don't, you can't really see it on stream, but right there, it was like that big. I didn't break anything. I didn't go to the hospital or anything, but I remember it was so hard to sleep that night because I had so many different like gauze and band-aids and shit holding stuff together. I did it all in front of my sister's friend who she had brought, and I just the, immediately as I hit the ground, I just started screaming like, I'm so sorry, I'm- What the fuck? I started screaming, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, because I had pretty much ruined the trip, because I just got completely fucking injured. And I got, like, really injured, and now it was gonna be, like, a big deal. It was just gonna kind of be an inconvenience to other people, I don't know. My sister's friend had seen the whole thing, and I just started screaming, I'm so sorry. And that was basically it. I was just scratched like crazy for a while, and then the fifth grade yearbook pictures that I took, I, my face was completely fucked up in them. And I was fat as shit and had a horrible haircut at the time, so that was probably my worst yearbook picture of all time. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's not really an injury, but I've had some pretty fucked up ingrown toenails that hurt like crazy crazy to remove. What the fuck is this? Oh, let's go! Oh, I need that. Hell yeah. Fuck. Okay, I only lost one. It's okay. Okay, that's another two. Okay, I'm back. Okay, don't fuck this up. I don't know what I did wrong, but fuck it. I'm getting pushed out! Okay. Stay in. I definitely needed fucking glide on, so I shouldn't have abandoned ship. I kind of thought since the last time I immediately fucking died with him that I didn't need him, but no, I do. Okay, I'm all the way here with six health, which is nice, but doesn't really matter at the same time. All right, I don't know what I fucked up the first time I did this, but I can't do that again. Please lock the fuck in. I don't want to mess this up. I can tell that there's a checkpoint over there. I'm tired of having to redo this section. Let's go. Come on! I'm debating on whether or not I should look up a video of somebody doing it, so that way I know what it looks like to do it. Just that section, because I don't want to fucking keep banging my head against a wall trying to figure it out, because it takes like five minutes to get back here every time. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's my fucking stream, suck my dick. Okay, I think I fucking figured it out all by myself. When did the timer reset? Every time this happened- Watch this shit. It's gonna work. I'll take it. Let's go. Come on. You have to shake the controller. That's what I didn't know. Probably should have been able to deduce that from, you know, playing this save for 30 hours and knowing how the game works. And there wasn't a goddamn checkpoint. It's okay, I still have four hearts, and this shouldn't be insanely- Dude, I dipped my balls in it for a second, but the- <laughs> Let's go. That's so annoying, because it's such an easy section, too. Please be a checkpoint. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to make that move. What is going on? Wait, can I hold up? No, wait, yeah, I can't reach that far, can it? That's the fucking story of my life. I could do insane speedrun strat right here. I am so fucking good at the game, dude. It's honestly a mystery how somebody can become as attractive and as good at Mario as I am. Okay. By the fucking hair on my cock and balls, dude. Holy shit. I've not even gotten close to getting this far yet. And I'm not really renowned for being great at the 2D sections either. Please, checkpoint. Please, checkpoint. Okay. Do I have to jump into the painting? Please be a checkpoint, man. Please. I would really prefer a checkpoint right about now. I don't want to fuck this one up, man. I'm so far, and I don't, I don't know how much far... I'm really running through health real quick. I think I, I I guess I have to go down here. I don't- Please be a checkpoint! Uh, God, that I only have two L. How much more is there, dude? Wait a fucking- Wait a minute. T. H. A. No way. Did I do it? Dude, did I actually complete it? No way this is the end. There's no way this is the end. What the fuck is this? Oh. Thanks, Nintendo. I love you, too. What?
Was that the end? We've come a long way, you and me. Do I have to get to the top of this? We've seen a bunch of different kingdoms. Dude! I mean, sure, we've got shot down and stuff along the way. This trip really was amazing. Dude, thank you. Mario, it's been an honor walking a mile on your head. We fucking did it.